Hi, welcome to our channel Good New. In terms of hydropower development, China is currently unquestionably the world leader. China just overcame four key world-class challenges and created a brand new hydropower station out of stones. The Liangheku Hydropower Station is its name. It is the world's tallest hydroelectric facility, standing 50 meters higher than the Hoover Dam in the United States. Furthermore, it is the world's biggest earth rock dam. The overall filling capacity of the dam of the hydropower station is as high as 41.6 million cubic meters, which is turned into a one square meter wall, completely filling a circle of earth, creating another wonder of world infrastructure. Furthermore, the hydropower plant is predicted to create an average annual power output of 1.1062 billion kilowatt hours which is enough to power more than 4 million households. But did you know that this $66.4 billion structure is built of stones? Why is this the case, and why did China construct dams on the plateau? What issues did they run across during the building process? That is exactly what we will be discussing today. The Liangheku Hydropower Station is China's largest project in Tibetan territories, as well as the world's tallest earth rock dam. This type of dam may be foreign to many people. After all, the majority of China's dams, such as the Three Gorges Dam, are reinforced concrete structures. A huge amount of concrete was used to pour the dam body, and except for material constraints in ancient times, dams built with mud and rocks will opt to employ this dam building method. Why does China need to build such an obviously outmoded dam in the 21st century woolen cloth? The key rationale for selecting an earth rock dam is because the project's construction site is in southwest China, where traffic is exceedingly problematic. If reinforced concrete is utilized as the principal material for dam building, the shipping costs are too high, hence Chinese construction workers selected steel. The materials are gathered locally, and the rocks and dirt that can be found around are employed as the dam's major material. To prevent water from leaking out through fractures in the rocks once the dam is finished, construction workers also put a very thick clay layer, and the dam body will be poured. The two estuary dams, like the Hoover Dam, are gravity dams that rely on their own weight to resist water pressure. However, in order to endure 10.7 billion cubic meters of river water, it must also withstand water pressure equivalent to 30,000 bulldozers. The development of estuary dams has placed enormous demands on the environment. China built the Baihetan and Wudong hydropower stations on the Jinsha River out of cement concrete, and the core of the Liangheku hydropower station is filled with very impermeable soil, which is an important feature of the dam. Of course, these stones are thoroughly screened, especially the stones used in the dam, with the compressive strength above 45 MPa and the size not exceeding 80 cm, demonstrating how stringent the criteria are. Because the earth rock process is employed, the raw materials are mined naturally on site by blasting. This also establishes stringent rules for blasting. It is projected that roughly 20,000 tons of explosives will be required to fill the entire earth rock dam, which has the power of half an atomic bomb. And such a sophisticated dam project requires 50,000 blasts to accomplish all sand and gravel mining, demonstrating how challenging the building is. Simultaneously, to assure the dam's fundamental safety, more than 1,000 layers of sand should be put beneath it, with each layer compacted and strengthened by a roller compactor. According to reports, the dam's overall filling volume is around 43 million square meters, making it one of China's greatest filling volume projects. It would take more than one cycle around the world, and each roller would have to circle the earth at least six times to smash these sand piles. It is similar to a rolling surface the size of three football fields, and the density of the sand is impossible to assess with the human eye. Those familiar with Chinese landscape are aware that the Sichuan Tibet region is full of high mountains, the topography is undulating, and the average height is around 3,000 meters. 
The Liangheku Hydroelectric Facility is a regulated hydropower station in the middle and lower portions of the Yalong River, located in Yajiang County, Gansi Prefecture, Sichuan Province. Okay, the mountains on both sides are already covered with a complicated pipe network system, so this dam project is similar to the most complex dam in the world, and it will have a significant influence on China's infrastructure. Engineers devised an intelligent management approach that employs satellite positioning systems and autonomous driving to track the deployment of each roller compactor in order to lower the labor intensity of employees and operators while also improving dam construction efficiency. If an anomaly is discovered, it will be communicated to the team via walkie-talkie. The quality inspection engineer must test the crushed sand and gravel pile. It depends on the Beidou satellite to correctly direct each automatic driving roller compactor and locate the operating circumstances of each roller compactor in real time. After the roller compactor's work is completed, on-site engineers are required to conduct accurate rolling results detection, and then the flatness and compactness of the crushed stone can be controlled at the centimeter level through data comparison of the Beidou satellite to ensure the quality of the two estuary dams. It is worth noting that the Liangheku hydropower station is located at the confluence of two rivers, thus the name. A massive reservoir area will be generated after the dam is built. It can increase the power generation of downstream power stations in addition to hydropower station power output. It should be noted that flow has a significant impact on hydropower plant electricity output. During the dry season, electricity generation will be severely reduced. If the upstream can store data in this case, in the dry season, if there is enough water energy, the downstream hydroelectric plant can still generate adequate electricity. Despite the fact that China possesses the world's greatest power output, it still lacks inadequate electricity supplies. As a result, it is critical to guarantee that hydropower plants generate balanced electricity throughout the year. After the Liangheku hydropower station is completed, China's energy security will be considerably improved, and there will be no lack of electricity during peak demand periods. At the same time, this hydropower plant project is critical to China's infrastructural development. Overall, there has been no shortage of miraculous projects throughout the Chinese nation's thousands of years of history, and they are all drawn from the knowledge of the Chinese people and the attitude of never giving up. So, what are your thoughts on the Chinese building project? Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.